Testing. Testing, testing. Are we on? Are we on? Good. Keep it that way. We need good communication quality for what's going on. Alright, everyone. Welcome to Broom Lake, and we're on a top secret ass assignment here. As you can see, we've been uh, tapped in by government officials. We're going to turn this rather desolate and barren place into the ultimate destination of all the higher ups in our area to spend some of their time, if you know what I mean. No, not like that. Something a little bit less raunchous and with less nudity, unfortunately. But. I thought that you'd. Keep twiddling that dial until you find something good, alright? Alright! Okay, so for the first thing to. We don't have a lot of cash with us. We only have 2,000 of our own money and 8,000 in a loan. So we're going to need to keep that in mind so we, so we can avoid going into debt. Stop messing with the dials now. I think we've got it good. Now, we could build some rides here because we can purchase some of the land. But I'm thinking to save on money at the start, I'm going to delete all of this and have this path head downwards instead so we can make use of this flat land. Because of objectives, we need to get a good park value and then satisfy uh, Clint Bushton who will be arriving in a couple of months. January, March, March, April, May. In a couple of months, yes. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Enough time wasting, we've got to do some things. Get rid of all this. And all this. And also some of this. Oops. Sorry! <laughs> Oops. Alright, we'll launch a rescue mission. Start with the paths. Oh, whoops. No. Go down. You two better not be in the bleeding way. Alright, so we've got a clear a path leading down. So let's get some rides on. No. And plus, we can actually put it out, put an entrance fee on the park entrance. I'll put that at five pounds, just so we can get in some money once people start arriving. And I suppose I can always fit a few rides on here as well. Some flat land here. But I'm going to start with a good ride in this area. Plus, I think we're going to need some facilities as well. Food and all that. Now, uh, if you remember from Four Worlds, we don't actually have any sci-fi food stalls, unfortunately. Is that, is that the right height? No. Get it? Alright, this can be where all the uh, facilities can be found. We want cookies. Delicious cookies. But there's many cho- Coconut on cookies? If you wish. Uh, and then of course we need hot dogs. You always need a hot dog in an well, I suppose this isn't exactly an American park if we're using pounds. But then again, we've been tapped in by the CIA, so this would be cons considered American. You can always have some drinks, though. Space shake. Ice cream, yes. Sci-fi ice cream. Most delicious kind of ice cream because it glows with radioactive goodness. Glorious. Want to keep the? Wait, we've got we've got. One. Ready? Have one of them. Well, it never hurts to have another. Space fuel. <laughs> 
or if that was actually proper fuel. We already have toilet. Ah, I think is that the space thing? Or is that where you buy helmets? Oh, there it is. Well, it's always good to have multiple places to buy drinks. Now, what do we have in terms of rides? Flying saucers, swinging inverter ships, a 3D cinema. Let's get something good to start with. You know, something intense, something fun. Plus, once we bring in a good amount of cash, we can always build a couple of roller coasters. Don't wait. Always have a full load. Ah, yes, we need staff as well. It's not a very large park at the moment, so I'll try to, you know, not have too many staff. Because we might run into money issues if I spend too freely. That's the sci fi one. That should be long enough. <laughs> long enough. And you know, we've got a good one here, so why don't we fit down another right here, just after I said, let's not get too stingy with, let's not get too free with our money. Ooh. A 3D cinema. Because back when this game was first made, in 2004 I think, or 5, 3D was the new thing. Oh, whoops. A uh, bit of an elevation problem, but nothing that we can't solve, I think. I got the prices a little bit. Uh, right. There you are. Perfect, we can just head straight down to ground level. Bit of an awkward queue line, but let's see if we can attract any more people because we want to. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where is that? In here? Can't see the damn thing. I can't even click them through those. There you are. All right, go up a bit. And space hats or space. Bobo something thing. Go up in price. Never gonna attract any more guests. Because I like the sci fi aesthetic. Oh wait. We did forget light, or I did forget lights though. And Star Glow. Go there. There you go. Bob, bob, bob. Okay, now we've got plenty of people coming in. Oh wait, research, research. Before we go any further, what kind of coasters do we have access to? Not many. I'm going to keep research going. but not too extensively so we can continue to make some form of... Our park value is going up quite a bit though once the VIP arrives um, we should get a few more guests coming in and then we sh hopefully will be able to afford enough rides and good goodies to rank up our park value Has it increased any more? Those two rides have gone quite a ways. Over a thousand from park entrance tickets? Then again, five per person if we can get enough people in. There's the in-betweeners and there are the big bang guys. So I'm thinking maybe money making isn't going to be so tricky as it was in the other parks because I couldn't actually have the people pay to go in. If you look here, Catching. 
How do I know if people start complaining about the price though? Because there's no thought bubble on the entrance. Or is it that you have to go in here? You need some shades. I wonder. I freaking forgot the bleeding. Yeah. I forgot the bleeding staff. I'm always forgetting things. Damn me, damn me. Two janitors and a mechanic. With top quality training, as usual. Even if it's bleeding expensive. The park isn't that large, so I think one mechanic will do us just fine for the time being until we get a couple more rides. And on we'd go. And people are already throwing up. Even. Well, people are really liking this ride. As long as there are no complaints about prices. If I. Ah! Look who's here. Clint Bushton! There weren't any specifications about what he needed to be satisfied by. It just said he, it, he had a high breakdown tolerance. So I guess he just needs to be happy. Are there actually any sun cream stools? No, just uh, umbrellas. Which I suppose could protect you from the shade. I mean, protect you from the sun in a way. Ooh, hello. That could be good. No! No, 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 no! I didn't want you to... Money wasted. Let's try that again. Okay, sorry about that. Have it frequently checked. Have a full load. 64? Holy crap. Let's just stick it like that for now. If people say it's a good value, we'll increase the price as you. Ugh. That's terrible though. There you go. Somewhat awkward, but we'll make do. Shut up. New ride available. Get on it, people, because there's plenty of space. How are our finances looking? We're in the negative because I keep buying things, but I'm sure once I stop buying things, we'll be able to make a good profit. Because we made very good profits on these ones. Okay. New month, new profit margin. Best sci-fi scenery, that's good, that's good. Look at I actually like that ride. That's right, go home. How's our park value? Rocketing up. I think if I just buy another couple of rides, we'll be good to go. BRP is satisfied. How about some flying saucers? Yeah, flying saucers. Okay, I'm buying things again, but... It gets us more income and it attracts more people. Because look, we've got a lot more peeps in the park now. Peeps in the park. Go there. <laughs> so far, things are looking rather well, I think. 